Today we are diving into the intense bullet match between me and Grandmaster Daniel Naroditsky. Not only he is an elite chess player, he is also one of the most popular chess content creators out there. Let's see how it unfolded. Yeah. Okay, I'm playing against Daniel. <laughs> Game started with d4, d5, c4, e5. Now we have Queen's Gambit declined, Albin counter Gambit. Knight c3, e takes d4, queen takes d4. Here, knight c3 was inaccuracy. Instead of that, I should have played d takes e5, and after d4, probably either knight on f3 or g3, and that's how this theory goes in this line. But I played knight c3. Well, it was short time control, it was bullet, so to play very accurately in the opening, it's not that expected. He took, I took on d4, and knight on f6. Accuracy from him. He should have taken on c4 and we would just simply trade it and then I would play knight on f3, idea with 3, bishop c4, and actually I would get good position here. He played knight on f6. And then I took d5. Seems like now I have extra pawn and really good center, which is actually true. Because after knight bd7, I would play bishop g5 and this bishop is pinning this knight and then I want to push e4 and e5 and I have great position. Knight c6 and queen e3. Accuracy from me. I should have just simply played queen d1. And if he would play like moves like knight b4, here is e4 and this pawn is protected. If he would take, I would just simply take and bishop f5, here is bishop b5. And if c6, just simply queen e2. And if he takes here, there is knight on f6 checkmate. So he's forced to play bishop e7 and I will take and now I will just simply get extra piece. And it would be win. So that's why here, after knight b4, it's win after e4. And if he would play knight on e5, here I would just play bishop on f4. And this knight is hanging. And then I want to push e4. And I'm just simply doing great here. But queen e3 was a mistake, as he had knight on e7. I was thinking that if he would play bishop e7, I would take this pawn. And then I would have extra piece. But I did not see knight on e7. I just played knight on f3, one to double my piece. And he made big mistake. He played g6. I'm not sure why he didn't take on d5. Because if he would take this, he would get a pawn back. And then I would just simply play g3, bishop g2, and it would be equal position. But he played g6, which was very good for me. Queen d3. This was another mistake from me. Would be better to play queen d4. Because it's threatening knight. This knight can't be moved because this rook is hanging. He is forced to play bishop g7 and then e4. After that, this pawn is protected and I have extra pawn. And as next, I will play bishop e2, I will castle, and I'm just simply winning here. Queen d3 mistake. Bishop g7 and e4. The idea of e4 is to just simply protect this pawn and then push e5 pawn. Castle and bishop e2. Just simply developing my pieces. C6, which is mistake here. Instead of C6, he should have played Bishop G4, and then I would just simply castle, and I have extra pawn. These pawns are on the center, so I'm just doing absolutely great. But he played C6, which was mistake. But unfortunately, here I did not see this great move, which would bring me victory. I should have played D6, and now this knight is literally trapped. He is forced to play knight on F5, and I would just simply take and. Here we go, I have extra piece, but unfortunately I did not see that. As you can see, bullet is really fast. Look, he only spent 3 seconds and that's how usually Daniel does when we play matches or in general. He like only spends like very, very short time in bullet and um, it's, uh, it's noticeable. I played castle and he took on d5. Well, now it's equalish position because he just took back this pawn. And I played rook d1. Well, also, if I would be really interesting. And if knight d7, just play bishop on f4. Rook d1, queen c7, and I, would, I take it. Now I have big advantage. Queen c7 was a mistake. He should have just simply taken with knight. And if I take bishop f5 and queen on d3, and after bishop b4, it's even worse for me. So I'll just sim simply be forced to play queen on a3. And if he takes bishop g5. So queen c7 was a mistake and I took with pawn and bishop f5 and queen b5. I'm doing great. I have passed pawn. I have extra pawn in general. But time difference is really big. 
And in bullet, and not only just bullet, but especially in bullet, it's so important to have big time. You might lose a game, but plugging opponent can happen anytime in bullet. So that's why time is so important. And between me and Dania was 12 seconds difference here. So that's why I was in trouble. Rook a d8, bishop g5, developing my bishop. a6, queen b3, h6, trade. The trade was not really necessary. Bishop h4 would be good ideal to play bishop g3 here and remain this strong bishop. Bishop f6, take, rook c1, queen f4, mistake. Instead of queen on f4, would be better to play bishop g7 here and then to play knight d4 and attack bishop. But queen on f4 was a mistake because I should have played here queen b7. And I would get another extra pawn plus this pawn is hanging, so it would be totally lost for Dania. But I played d6. Well, I was rushing so much, I didn't really want to lose on time because I was winning this game. Rook takes d6 and queen b7. And rook d1 is a mistake. He should have just simply played a5 to push this pawn. And then it will be equal position after this. Even though I have extra pawn, he has really active pieces. So it would be hard to win here. Rook d1. I took with rook g5. Well, would be better for him to play king g7 just, just to like protect his king with checks if he moves the rook somewhere. Maybe rook b8, rook c8. So that's why king g7 would be great but g5 is a mistake. It weakens flex king. And I just simply take this pawn. Bishop g7. Queen d6. I want to trade pieces because I have two extra pawns. And I, uh, I was thinking that I would win this game easily if I would trade these queens. Trade g4. g4 is good for me because I really wanted to develop this knight from f3. So g4 is helping me. Plus he is losing tempo. Knight d4. Bishop h7. And knight c6. Actually, I was rushing here so much that I did not even see that bishop g4 was hanging. If I would take on bishop g4, I would have way better chances to win this game because I would have three extra pawns, which unfortunately I did not see. Knight c6, knight f5, and rook d1. Now I'm still winning. Rook e8, bishop g4, finally I sold it. Knight on h4, g3, knight g3, rook d8. Of course, I have three extra pawns. I need to trade pieces in order to promote these pawns. Take, take, knight on e5, bishop e2, bishop c2, and a4. This is absolutely winning. But the time difference is huge. Look, Dania only spent 18 seconds in this game, and I have 17 seconds, so I spent around 43 seconds, which is really big difference. Now, first of all, it's psychological factor that when you look at your opponent and he has much bigger time than you, it's really scary, you know, especially in bullet. And you are scared that you are winning a game, but not to get flagged. And unfortunately, that's how it ends up sometimes. And bishop f6, and here I blundered a5. It's so common to blunder in this kind of games. Like just knight b7 is winning because I would push a5, a6, a7, and it would be easier to win. But as I said, because of the time, I could not do it. So I blundered this knight. a6. It's still fine. It's still like equalish because I have... Uh, again, three extra pawns, and now even though he has peace, uh, it is big chance for me to make a draw. But as you can see, I'm in time trouble. Bishop b6, knight d5, bishop a7, knight c7. This move, knight b5, bishop c5, bishop f3. Well, would be better to play king g2 in order to use this king to get closer to this queen side and get better chances to make a draw. Bishop f3, knight e5. Bishop b7. Well, bishop d5 would be better because, first of all, it attacks this pawn, and then a7 is hanging, and if knight d7, just a7, and if knight b6, I can just promote as well, or I can just play knight c3. So bishop d5 would be a really strong move, but I played bishop b7, wanted to protect this pawn on a6. Bishop d3, mistake, and a7. It is mistake because it led me to play in a7. Knight c4 would be better, and after a7, take, take, and take on b2. And even though I have extra pawn, it's more likely a draw, because there are two pieces. And if I trade, of course, I'm winning this endgame. But, uh, of course, your opponent won't let you to trade. So that's why it would be a draw. So bishop d3 is a mistake. And a7. Just want to promote this pawn. Takes, takes, king g7. It's still win, because I have two extra pawns, and one pawn on b2 is past pawn. 
96, 94, 94. Well, blunder. I'm rushing. I only have less than 10 seconds. So I wanted to play before here to push this pawn, but I did not say that. And I played 94. I was just doing random moves here in order to not get flagged. Knight b2, bishop f3, big chance for Daniel to make a draw. Bishop f6, knight e2. Just I'm just simply doing this random moves here. And uh, I was praying not to get flagged. But of course, Daniel wanted me to be flagged. He has way higher rating and he would lose a lot of rating points even for a draw. King e7, knight e5, king d6. Well, knight on f6 would be great also for the idea to attack this bishop or play knight g4 next. Knight on e3, bishop g6, bishop g4, knight on, knight on c6, bishop f5. So here, bishop g6 was mistake. Instead of that, would be better to play bishop c8, idea of f4, f5. But I played bishop g6, straight f4, and it's a draw. Like, like if he would take, it's absolutely a draw because king on h3, king on h4, take, and then I would take it, and it's big chance to make a draw. But he played g5 here. And, uh, well, he also, he wants to flag me. The only way to flag me is to remain these pawns. Because if he would have no pawns here and no knight, it would be a draw, even if I would get flagged. g4, h4, which is mistake, because after knight c4, king d5, knight d2, I have knight on f3, it would be win h3, and it's mistake because I have already less than one second. Knight on e6, he blundered, but of course I didn't notice. I had 0 0.006, and it's crazy. Like, just simply take taking king on f3 would be win. But I did not see that. I just play knight on f1. He played knight on f4 and I got flagged. And I'm heartbroken because I could win this game and at least I could make a draw. And I have not beaten Dania yet and I was already second time close to beat him. If you like this video, make sure to give thumbs up and subscribe my YouTube channel.